Blimey! What will we do? Britons, your face. A 30,000 euro fine in Mallorca. Since new hotel registration scheme is putting people off Spain. <gasps> Am I happy? boot there I like, man. Oh, yeah. Let me crack it. We always seem to be the target, don't we? Now, they have suspended the, um, oh, the Mesa del Turismo. Yeah, they've suspended that. And also the uh, habitation thing where you've got to prove where you're going to be staying and all that sort of stuff, yeah? That has been suspended. It could come into force at some point. But they see that as, a, I suppose, as a bit of a waste of time. But hoteliers have been forced to fill out masses of forms to register you at the hotel. And it's causing a lot of grief. Now, oh, crikey. So... And the industry at large have succeeded in securing the suspension of the new royal decree requiring documentary re uh, registration of your accommodation. We know about that. And a motor vehicle rental giving the impossibility of compliance with the rule of tourism companies and potential conflict with the Data Protection Act. And it was due to, the, to come into force uh, October this year. But it's about being postponed until December. That point will get postponed again and again and again. You know how it goes. However, it's fair that it could put Britons off coming to Mallorca and the rest of Spain. Now, there has been several cases now have been reported by individuals who have been confronted with having to fill in masses of paperwork at the deck. Deck? At the desk. At the deck. And according to one Briton, this was on TikTok, and it has been confirmed by various others as well, uh, having to supply 43 pieces of information when checking into accommodation is going to turn Britons away. They, it's the last thing you want to do, because don't forget, if you're going as a group, that's going to be 43 pieces of information for every single person in your group. Including your kids. Lovely. And judging by the comments from the people who have uh, watched the video, he is not wrong. The Secretary General, Carlos Abella, uh, of Mesa del Turismo, has said that the update of his royal decree obliges accommodation companies, car rental companies, and intermediary tour operators to provide customer information telematically with an, with an excessive level of detail. Also providing for penalties up to €30,000 in case of infringement, in addition to constant booking procedures. The Spanish government has defended the rule, claiming that the lighter requirements, or the tighter, not lighter, the tighter requirements will enhance safety by allowing the Ministry of, the, of Interior to access detail on who, when, and where both domestic and uh, international guests are staying. So this is not just going to affect... Uh, tourists is going to affect citizens in Spain wanting to stay at hotels. The assisting and tracking of terrorists and organised crime syndicates is why they're doing it apparently, but many people feel it is an infringement on their human rights and could also clash with data protection laws, not to mention being a major hassle. Well, whenever you hand over your data in the European Union, it could potentially, uh, there's, there's laws and rules around that. Effectively, you are allowed to say, well, you're not allowed to hold on to that data. How is that going to work? When it's all on paper, right? and they're going to have to shred it. <laughs> anyway, how do you feel about that? Hmm? More aggravation when visiting Spain. I'm sure there'll be some areas in Spain that won't be uh, in, in, you know, been uh, in force at this stage. But apparently, that is in Mallorca already, and other areas of Spain. So anyway, have you come across this situation yourself? Let us know in the comments down below, because I do read the comments, but you probably already know. Please be the old like button, helps the channel, you know. But also, if you want to support the channel, you can do it on Patreon, or buy us a coffee, and we are doing a rewilding here in France. We're planting a thousand trees on two hectares of land. And if you want to be part of our rewilding project, where we're making these bat boxes, and uh, bat roofs, sorry, and, and bird, ha uh, bird houses and stuff, and other uh, you know, animals and uh, houses and insects, um, you know, things for critters to live in. Anyway, there's a link down below. If you follow that, make a small donation. I will make a sign to go with your tree, plant tree, obviously. And uh, it can be a memory of a loved one. It can be a gift, summer, Christmas, what have you, or your pet, or whatever. You know, choice is yours. And we'll make a sign using our laser. Anyway, time for me to go. Say toodaloo, you know, say toodaloo. Don't forget, comment down below.